Welcome to my channel everybody, today I have this Flanner Cascadia with a DD15 engine uh, I talk a lot, a lot of uh, this DD15 because I have uh, a shop then I mostly work on DD15, this is a DD13 and all that but um, it, just by seeing the trucks we can see different problems but in this case this truck was having uh, a cylinder problem cylinder number four wasn't working it was making noise and all that blah, blah, blah. Uh, i have videos talking about it uh, so i want to show you something uh, on this truck this is what's what the problem so the problem is then the the main problem why there was making noises uh it's because the um piston and the cylinder liner were broken uh it broke uh, so uh, we can see the damage of the cylinder right there see all the scratches and everything it goes all the way down on both sides uh yeah see very damaged so uh you you had the problem uh then you had water in the oil and also you had the problem then you had uh, a pressure on the oil cap uh, very common on these d15 engines with a cylinder liner cylinder liner damage but what is not common is the uh, connecting rod damage uh, the damage then this one has is the i don't know what it's called to be honest but in here there is a bearing and see how it moves left and right because the bearing is completely destroyed see it doesn't have to move like that it has to be very very, very tight in it able to move frog and back but no left and right like this uh, this way we can see some damage see so um that is pretty unusual you don't see this every day a piston then has this damage this way uh, well i mean to solve this problem you have to remove the piston and the connecting rod replace the connecting rod and the piston and replace the cylinder liner which is that one over there um, that is just to solve the problem not to do a major overhaul in this case well, what we're doing to that the owner of this truck didn't want to spend a lot of money on this uh, truck so it's understandable we are living in a tough situation so um, we just did the whole overhaul without doing the whole overhaul just labor and removing everything replace cylinder number four and the piston and the connecting rod number four and call it a day that's it nothing else to do on this uh, everything is getting back in place uh, putting everything back to the, together the way it was and after that this truck will be on the road um, the only problem doing things like this is that there is no a guarantee there is nothing uh, you can uh, uh, say then will make this engine last long um, I have no idea how long it's gonna last after this because all the other cylinders are old and uh, those cylinders can break just the same way as this one broke uh, but what you want to do about it uh, in my case I don't do anything because the owner wants it like that even uh, even though then I explained uh, what was the issue if you do it like this way but the owner doesn't want to do it because of the financial situation which as I say is completely understandable and of course as my client we have to do what they say um, hopefully this right here is not going to uh, present any other damage with other cylinders uh, and it's going to last at least 100,000 miles so the owner of this truck can make some money to buy the whole overhaul kit of course it's going to spend some money on fixing this truck right now but it's going to prolong the way 
the engine is gonna work without spending a lot of money do i recommend to do, uh, doing this no i don't recommend if you really want to fix your engine just fix it you want to do something cheap to the engine some mickey mouse as they call it um well i mean i don't know i mean i wouldn't recommend because i don't know how long it's gonna last and some people do this kind of job especially when they're trying to sell the truck because they want the truck just to run and after that they don't care um that is bad too because uh, people is gonna find out and you just replace one cylinder eventually so it's better to do things right so that way you don't have any problems but it's up to everybody there is this is no obligation it's just a recommendation but uh, this is one i wanted to share with you the problem with this dd15 engine if you happen to have a dd15 engine that has a broken cylinder especially in cylinder number one two three four whatever but just one cylinder just one of them is broken uh, you can also uh, uh, have the option to replace just the broken cylinder of course if you do that be sure then any other cylinder can present damage and if the cylinder present damage just after replacing the cylinder that is on you that is not going to be a warranty from the mechanic and you cannot blame the mechanic because the mechanic didn't do it you asked for it especially if you asked for it if you didn't ask for it and the mechanic recommended that of course that's mechanics fault but uh I would say then you have to pay attention to that preventing problems is very important on the road especially you know how expensive it is to repair these trucks over the road and just to tow it you have to spend a lot of money so uh try to prevent these problems by doing things right uh well uh well this is whatever i have right now for the video uh, you have questions you have anything to add to this video and uh, you know there's always so many things about these engines that are breaking and i'm telling you like this, this is at 2011 uh 13 uh uh d13 and still there are problems that you don't know uh, and, and that's the reason why it's important to share information because there is a problem here then i don't recognize uh, so i need to find out probably i'll do a video later when i did it or thing but uh if if uh you want to share anything just do it um you wanna uh, send support to a channel check the description of this video this is how to send, send support to a channel uh, and you wanna come to the shop the description of this video have the details on how to come to, uh, to to the shop just be sure to bring some time with you or leave the truck that's most most likely the best way to do it uh, and uh, like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it subscribe to the channel there are more videos like this than are coming uh, informative videos like videos too with me, a lot of information if you wanna uh, know uh, english and spanish you can ask me anything all right see you later